Okay, so the uh, president and, of course, the vice president, too, has been talking about uh, corruption and anti-corruption. So the president yesterday used the occasion of the new multi-million uh, Naira edifice or corporate headquarters of the EFCC to uh, say a few things. President Buhari says he would not allow a repeat of his 84-85 anti-corruption uh, regime when he was removed as head of state and recovered stolen monies under his administration were returned to the looters after his administration was booted out of office and he was sent to prison. President Buhari says, however, that during his second term around since 2015, when he took office May 29, yeah, he says, we have made significant progress in the fight against corruption. Everyone now knows that corruption officials will be held to account no matter how long it takes. The president, however, says he hopes that and expects that the judiciary will continue to bring corrupt people to book. Uh, the president went on to add that structures are not the whole story. We must change our ways of handling public trust because corruption not only kills governments, but destroys societies. A few days ago, uh, the former head of state, General Yakubu Goma, retired, says his administration did not practice corruption, but became a norm after his regime ended in 1975. And, of course, you heard about the new CAMA. That's the Companies and Allied Matters Act, 1968 to 1990, 2004. Now we have a new provisions uh, uh, brought into place by the National Assembly, the current National Assembly, that is, after 24 years, those new provisions we have been discussing over the last 30 minutes here on the program. Then, Forte Oil, uh, which is one of Nigeria's number one integrated energy traders, says it's going to spin off uh, three of its subsidiaries, and we're asking shareholders for approval on May the 28th. Uh, let's get Rotimi Fakai, job from Enterprise Stockbrokers, to uh, take this to the marketplace for us. Rotimi, good morning. It's good to have you on the phone. Good morning, Bolson. Uh, Forte Oil is a, is, a, is, a, is a big company when it comes to the uh, energy space. So this news of what will happen on May the 28th, if the shareholders agree that this spin-off should take place, how is the market, how do you expect the market to react? Uh, well, to me, I believe in wanting to concentrate on their core competence, competence which is their um, downstream uh, marketing, our operations in the uh, oil and gas sector, my belief is that uh, in doing that, they are definitely going to be able to concentrate more, especially with the takeoff of the Dangote uh, refinery, which is created for next year. And I believe the whatever policy that is gotten from that uh, from that extraordinary asset deal, I believe definitely is going to imply much on their activities, and they're going to have a better cash flow to be able to do the operation and be an, a more established name in the oil and gas sector. So my I think my take on that, even with some of my colleagues, is that uh, we are going to see a stronger company coming forth from this because definitely what they put into the power sector some years back has definitely generated a high level of return, and that also implies that um, they have made a lot of profit therein. So definitely we are going to see a better party oil coming up and a much stronger company. They are going to compete more favorably and be the market leader in that sector. I see a situation where by such an oil may be taking over another major oil company, although that may not be stated, but I believe that definitely may be one of the possibilities. And uh, if that happens, then definitely Forte Oil has come to stay as the most uh, viable and strongest uh, uh, oil and gas uh, downstream sector company in Nigeria. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ruti Fakaijo. We're looking at the next uh, two weeks when these uh, annual meetings will take place and what will be the restructuring and the repositioning will be uh, well explained by Femi Otedala, who is the chairman of the company, and of course the uh, rest of his team, the board of directors. We're following that closely for our view viewers because this is a major development in the Nigeria's oil and gas and industry of uh, energy, which is just emerging. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Let's leave it there for today, shall we? Uh, let's get back to Borough, 10 o'clock, same time in the morning and have a business breakfast with Business Morning.